welcome back to the Moose Shop. Of course, I've decided to make one last Christmas gift uh, at the last minute. Somebody mentioned that they needed a rolling pin in the family, so I decided to go ahead and do it, and I got it done on Christmas Eve. But uh, I looked up on YouTube, and I saw a couple of these pattern, Celtic knot patterns that they do, and it looked fairly easy, and it looked like a lot of fun to do, so I did. I whipped it out, and I got it done in time. Matter of fact, I made two. I filmed one, um, but that won't be out, uh, of course, after Christmas, as you'll be noticing. And uh, so, yeah, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. What are you doing? What? You need to roll the intro. <laughs> oh, oh, my. All right, hang on. Hold on. I get Come it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. For that guy. What I want to do first is I want to mill up some wood so I make myself a good block. They do that. Oh, forget it. So we made a, a jig here for 60 degrees so that we can cut this at 30 degrees. So I have it sandwiched in between the two stops. Line up here. Mark your your one end because you're always going to use that facing out. So what we'll do is we'll cut one, glue it, turn it, set it back in, cut it, glue it. So get yourself a nice straight block with a notch in it so that you can go over your, your piece that you're putting in. Now remember, we're going on end grain here, so just let that end grain soak it up. Try not to get any burn marks on your wood like I just did. Okay, so now that it's soaked in a little bit, let's glue this thing up. Super important to make sure this thing lines up properly. Okay, so all four sides have the X on them, and it's all sanded up, smooth, and ready for the lathe. But right now we're going to let it sit overnight. because. Okay, so now you got it as even and smooth as possible we're going to take a sandpaper to it now get a sanding block a nice flat one the longer the better and we'll knock down all those peaks and valleys and make it nice and even so i put it on the chuck made a couple tenants on there and now we're going to drill the hole all the way through
sanded it down to 600 and now I'm going to put a couple coats of walnut oil and then we'll cut off this other tenant. So I got these all wrapped up and gave them as gifts just in time. Then I said, can I have them back so I can finish the video? <laughs> so they gave them back to me and I'll give them back to them in a day or so. But they loved them. They said, wow, that's cool. How did you do this? And when somebody says, how did you do it? You know that you did a good job because there's like, wow. So give it a shot. A couple tips. Keep your blocks nice and straight as you're gluing it up. And your joints nice and tight. Add a couple different types of wood. Uh, get creative with all this. You know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I did maple and cherry and walnut and maple. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I hope everybody had a good Christmas and then have a good New Year's. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.